Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts, and today I have a fuzzy, oh my gosh, super amazingly soft, very beginner-friendly blanket to teach you today. I have made this with Red Heart, pronounced Huga yarn, and our friends from Yarnspirations sent us this yarn and said, make whatever you want. And so here I am, I designed this baby blanket and it is so super soft. This feels like yarn that you would make a stuffed animal out of. So anyway, the colors I chose are powder, this one is pearl, and this one is called cloud. So I'm using the recommended hook size that's on the package. You know, this is a five bulky weight yarn so i am using a k 10.5 6.5 millimeter hook so all you need to do to get started for this tutorial is we're going to do an even number of chains i think i'll just put 12 on my hook and we will get going all right i just remembered that somebody asked me in an earlier video how i uh, thread the yarn around my left hand and so I just basically put it around my pinky and then I put it around my uh, index finger and I generally hold the yarn with my first and third finger and then I begin to chain like that I keep the yarn pretty loose in my hand too and then move up as the chains grow. I guess I'm always moving up and that yarn is just sliding through my hands like that. So anyway, finally remembered to show you that. Okay, let's start with 12 chains on our hook. And so I'm going to yarn over and start in the third chain from the hook with a regular half double crochet. This blanket pattern is four rows of half double crochet in each color. It's just then the color changes are, well, I'll show you as we get going. And of course, please refer to the full written pattern that is on our website. And the link to that pattern is in the descriptions that you can click on that and then that's where the full written pattern is. There isn't a pattern repeat for this blanket either, so you may make your chain any length as long as it's an even number. Okay, I'm going to chain two and turn my work. Just like a page in the book. I'm going to double check that I have an even number of stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. If you chain 12, you should have 10 half double crochets. This chain two never counts as a stitch. I'm going to work right into the very first stitch of the row. And I'm going to work across. I'll just show you this row and I want to just make sure that you see where the last stitch is. Having the same number of stitches is what's going to help you keep your side straight in each row. Oh, this Huga yarn though is so easy to crochet with with usually with fuzzy yarn it sticks a lot to itself and it's hard to undo but this one doesn't seem to be having a problem okay we've made one two three four five six seven eight nine your last stitch is sometimes a little bit hard to see because you've got those two chains we skipped over but see if you can find a v that is kind of looking right at you that's where you'll put your last stitch Chain two and turn, just like a page in the book. 
And why don't you add two more rows and then I'll show you how to add in a color. All right, I'm about to finish the very last stitch of that fourth row. I'm gonna pull up a loop and then I'm going to stop right there. Then I'll simply lay the new color and I started with cloud, lay it over and pull it through. Leave yourself a long tail because you're gonna weave this in. Now, you do not have to cut this. We're gonna carry the pearl color up the side of the blanket the entire time. That'll kind of help you on um, uh, the amount of ends that you'll have to weave in. Okay, we're just gonna get going the exact same way. Chain two and turn. And we will add four rows of this cloud color before we pull that pearl right back up and then that will be our little puff row made with treble crochets and single crochets. And they're easy, don't worry. They're super easy. Okay, so get four rows of this cloud made working the half double crochet. All right, here's another little tip for you to always, obviously, I guess, to know four rows, one thing, sometimes it can be confusing if you can't keep track of how many, but you'll always know you've done a fourth row because that tail for the pearl is gonna be waiting for you over here. So I just simply pull that up and pull that through. Now, try not to um, pull it too tight. You wanna adjust the tension on that to make it so that it's just gonna lay along the side of your work. And don't worry about that because it will get covered up with the border. And so I'm just trying to save you on having to take the time. But if you're uncomfortable doing that, by all means, go ahead and cut it and you'll be totally fine. You can weave that in. Okay, I'm gonna still chain two and, tur and turn. We are going to start right away with what is called a treble crochet you're going to yarn over two times on your hook. Insert into that very first space, same spot, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have four loops on your hook. Now you'll yarn over and only pull through two of them. And then you'll yarn over and pull through only two of them again. And then you'll yarn over and pull through the final two. Now you will follow that up in the next stitch with a single crochet. You will pop that little berry puff. No, it's probably not. Berry is a different stitch. I think I've actually heard this called a crunch. So it could be a crunch stitch. I don't know. I'm calling it just, I guess I called this blanket the powder puff mainly because of the, the yarn. It's just so puffy and nice. And also those little... I don't know, they reminded me of little puffs that kind of poked out on one side of the blanket. But don't worry, we actually are gonna do two rows of this. So the little puffs are going to stick out on both sides of your blanket. So you won't just have a one, one sided. How's it going? Yarn over two times. Insert your hook, pull it up, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And this is why we wanted to have an even number, is so that the end of the row could end with a single crochet. Otherwise, your last little puff, crunch, whatever, would not poke out. So our last stitch is that single crochet. Chain two and turn. We're gonna do the exact same thing. See, look how cute. Loved it. Let's do the exact same thing. This time we're gonna work that treble crochet into that last single crochet stitch that we just made. And these ones will pop out on the other side. 
and then work your single crochet. All right, you've got it. Go ahead and finish these out to the end of the row. All right, I hope I forgot to say too, we didn't, we're not gonna cut that um, this cloud color quite yet either, because we are going to finish this with four more rows of the cloud. So I pulled that through on that last single crochet, just on the last step of the stitch. And now I'm going to work all half double crochets into the top of each stitch. Keep that really even going across. And we work these, you guessed it, four more rows. And then I switched back to the cloud or cloud pearl, the cream color for four rows before I switched to the powder. Okay, I think I will finish this up, just four more rows, and I wanna show you how to get that um, ribbed border started as well. All right, here's our little swatch. And so usually at the end of the blanket, I don't even like to tie off. I just kind of um, pull that out for a minute because I'll come back and I'll start my border right there on that corner. And I figure if I don't have to pull up a loop, I don't, you know, and cut yarn, I try not to. So I'm just going to thread through one of my tapestry needles and I'm going to weave these ends in. So what we are going to do is come back, I've got those all woven in, and we are going to work, I'm gonna chain three, and I'm gonna still turn my work. And now we will work a double crochet stitch per stitch, going across the top, and then we'll put three into the corners, and then we'll do our very best to work one per row. And um, that is the hardest part on the sides. Even is my best suggestion. But this is what we do to put the ribbing on the sides of our blankets. And we'll just do three rounds of this. So let me get you worked around one corner and we just go round and around. There's no turning even. We've kind of made it real easy on ourselves. Nothing to have to join the rounds or anything. Here's that last stitch. And in that last stitch, work two more. Kind of helps us get around the corner here. Now, do your best even. If they feel like they're too spread apart, go ahead and add an extra one. We're trying to get it as even as what you've got going across the top. And usually with this, it's one double crochet per row. It's just hard to see the rows sometimes. All right, so I'm gonna let you get to it and work all the way down. Put three in the corner and I'll meet you when we come back up over here. Okay, how did you do? Sometimes I was kind of counting as I was going and sometimes I ended up having to do six 
per four rows. So maybe that could give you more of a guide. Definitely. I mean, it's just the most important thing is kind of even. Get them in there. You don't want them too spread apart. If they're too spread apart, you know, it'll kind of crinkle on you. And if there's too many, this border will start ruffling on you. So there's a happy medium place. Obviously, you can tell I'm not that much of a perfectionist. I'm more like, well, I'll just kind of do it as I go. I'm sure there's a mathematical formula, but uh, my brain doesn't work that way. Anyway, here we are back in this last corner. If you'll remember, we have that little chain three and then this this spot. I go ahead and I finish that off and work around the corner with a third with three, just like that. And now we get to just continue working. We don't have to join rounds or anything. We are going to, oh wait, sorry. I, yeah, no, we don't even join. We're gonna work around that chain three. Just pop it forward, just like that. When we come back, that will, will um, We'll find a different middle stitch is what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say. Pop that one to the back. Pop the next one to the front. These are called front post and back post double crochet. Work them all the way down, alternating. And I'll show you this neat trick that we discovered of how to turn the corners. We used to do it a different way, but then we figured it's much easier to work three around the center. I'll show you. We're almost there. Okay, here's my three that I made up the corner. First one I'll pop forward just because that's, you know, the way I landed. So now around this middle one, I'll start back. And then I'll come forward, I'll push it forward. I'm working three around that middle one. And I'll go to the back again. So just alternate them. Now I'll continue my alternating with the front right there. And I will work these rounds three times. Well, and you, you, can, you can do your rounds. You can do a, a, a wider border than I even did. And when you get back to this corner over here, you know, you'll see that middle one, but that's what I'm saying. Just keep going and just keep building it. And then after you do three, then you'll slip stitch, tie off and weave in that end. So, okay, I will now turn the camera around and I will show you this beautiful blanket. I think the tutorial, I think you've got it after this. Okay, hi, my friends. All right, you ready? This is, okay, let me see if I can back up enough to show you. And of course, more pictures are on my website. So the color changes are, I was able to do three sections of gray and then two sections of the pink. And just like I said, it is reversible. These are on the both sides. So very, very cute. Very, oh, I just love it. It's so cuddly and soft. Love it, love it. Um, the dimensions of this blanket, I was just going to say, are 38 inches wide, and it turned out 42 inches long. So you can make this uh, any size, though. Remember, just any even number, just chain that even number to the length that you need, and you should be fine. So, all right. Um, thank you for coming by. Thank you if you're on our website. We will see you next time.